Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this week uh, process simulation tutorial videos. Um, I, I think it's been quite a while since I upload uh, my new uh, Aspen Plus or process simulation videos. I, I think my last video was about a month ago and I have been quite busy with my with the final exam and stuff. So, so don't really have you know much time to prepare new materials. And I did receive a request to do like uh, uh, to to simulate process like uh, steam reforming and gasification, biomass gasification or coal gasification, but I don't really have like time to prepare the the you know the materials uh, to be to be to be discussed. Maybe I'll do it when when the semester break uh, started. Uh, but in the meantime, um, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna proceed with what I have. So for this week videos, I actually would like to introduce you with the open source uh, plus simulation software because uh, the reason why I, I'm thinking of doing this is because, um, you know, right now is uh, COVID-19 with, with the COVID-19 shit happening, uh, you know, where, where people cannot really go go into the the universities or, or you know, to, to to run the software, especially in my universities, we cannot go, you know, uh, uh, at this point, uh, we can cannot enter the universities like uh, as usual. So maybe some of the student does not have the opportunity or does does not have a luxury to, uh, you know, to use the license. Okay, process simulation software, for example, like Aspen Plus or HiSys. So I think it would be a good idea to find an alternative where the students can can use open source uh, process simulator to complete their, their project. So the, the process simulator that I'm choosing, uh, the open source process simulator that I'm cho choosing is, is called DWSIM. Uh, it was, uh, it is uh, developed by, by these uh, process engineers, uh, uh, which I will discuss later on. Um, so yeah, we will, we will visit, uh, we will see how the, the software looks like, how it works, the interface and things like that. And uh, and for this particular uh, videos, I think uh, I'm going to simulate a very simple process using a compressor, after that a cooler, and then we have a vapor liquid separator to separate uh, liquid phase and, and vapor phase. So let's begin. Yeah, I'm going to talk about uh, commercial and open source software first. So uh, for your information, uh, this uh, process simulation software has been quite, uh, there are a lot that has been developed back in 1960s all the way to 60, 1980s, but it's quite difficult for them to update with the new, you know, new chemicals being being, being discovered or new, uh, new parameters, interaction parameters, new properties, you know, new correlation, okay, for each of these, uh, each, each of the, the chemicals. So it's quite expensive and, and some of the softwares, you know, uh, may not be continued anymore and, and, and some of it just continue thriving until now. For example, we have a lot of uh, process simulation software. Uh, we have uh, HiSys, Aspen HiSys. Uh, 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 it was a commercial, it was a commercial uh, process simulation software by Aspen Tech and then we have Aspen Plus. Uh, we have CamCat by CamStation. Uh, it's a commercial software. Uh, Pro2 uh, by Aneva, uh, SimC commercial. And then we have Coco. I have, I, I never use Coco. Uh, Process simulation. Uh, it is open source, so maybe if you if you like to 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 use, maybe you can try to look for one. And then lastly, we have DWSIM software uh, developed by this uh, process uh, engineers uh, Daniel Medeiros. Uh, it is open source software, and there are a lot more. Uh, but this is the most common one. Uh, I only use I I, I don't use HiSys that much. Uh, never use CamCat, Pro2, Coco. But I I I, I did use I did have some some. I did explore a bit on, on DW Sim, but uh, most of the time uh, I, I rely on Aspen Plus uh, quite a lot. So yeah, uh, focusing on DW Sim process simulator, uh, the first thing that you need to know is that it is a Cape Open compliant process simulator, and they have a very nice and easy to use graphical interface, and they also have a lot of new features that previously only accessible in commercial process simulator. So they have a new added features. 
And then obviously, you know, they are, are free and it is an open source software. You can download it, uh, you know, easily uh, in the internet. And then because it is an open software, you can just pretty much uh, see how the calculation is made or being done or executed by simply looking uh, uh, onto the coding, okay, uh, uh, during the uh, calculation or during the calculation execution. Uh, the one thing that I'm gonna that, that I'm gonna focus uh, in this slide is is it is uh, developed by this uh, process engineers as I mentioned uh, by Daniel Medeiros. Uh, if you see here, this is his uh, images. Uh, his uh, process engineers are uh, for 14 years in Petro Brazil, and he's also a software developer. I think right now he's a freelance uh, software developer. Uh, I, I I got all of this information in uh, in his uh, LinkedIn, by the way. And in these images, uh, you see that this is the how, how the like a home page, okay, of the DW Sim uh, software looks like, which we will look into later on. Um, so yeah, as I said before, uh, it is a free, it is open source software. You can pretty much download the software online. Uh, this is the the link here. Uh, it is around 150 megabyte uh, to download, so it's very small size and it's quite easy to install. There's no like licensing and things like that, so just install. It takes you around maybe 10 minutes to get it done, maybe less than that. I, I, I think it's less. it was less than that. So it would be very useful uh, if the students does not have any access to commercial uh, person simulation uh, software, especially during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic right now. Now, if you think 150 megabyte does not give you that much, if you think the calculation is pretty easy and straightforward, there's not there, there are not many uh, I would say features available. You might be wrong. Uh, these are a, a few software features that are available. Uh, they they have you know quite extensive thermodynamic models. Um, I actually there are a lot more than this, uh, but for the sake uh, you can, you can just Google it if you want uh, or, or just download and then you will see. Uh, what are the features available? Or you can refer to this uh, this slides or uh, no, this link. Go to this link, and you will see that the complete uh, list of the features available. You see, they have a very extensive thermodynamic models uh, library. They have a lot of uh, unit operation that can be run uh, in the dynamic uh, modes or st steady state mode. I mean, this is pretty much this is quite a lot. I mean, if you ask me. If the students are doing like a uh, integrated uh, design project or plan design project or e even like a, a mass basic unit operation or mass and energy balance this is even this is more than enough okay this this software is good enough um so yeah it can run uh, either dynamic mode uh, steady state mode uh, and then and then they also have utilities where you can you do this this uh PRV sizing, versus sizing, component uh, properties, and things and, and things like that. And then they can they also have this uh, dynamic modeling and simulation where you, you can design your own controller and things like this. Uh, I think this is very nice. Uh, if you are an expert or uh, if you want to study uh, like a process control uh, in in your in your uh, in your chemical process or of your chemical process or of your plant. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go into details about uh, about this software too much, but what I want to, to introduce is basically how the software looks like, uh, what are the, the, the features, how is it different than my, my S10 Plus process simulation software. Um, yeah, this is the link. You can re read uh, this link if you want to know if you want to know details. Uh, this is the, the the print screen of this particular link where you can just download. It is available for windows linux and mac so so it's, it's, it's pretty it's pretty uh, and it can be used by many people so no problem um, okay moving on so I, I think the best way for me to introduce this this uh, this software is just by 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 uh, by completing a certain process uh, certain yeah certain chemical process so in this case I'm going to simulate a very simple process. Uh, and by the way, this process, I took it from this. I'm not saying this is textbook. This is more like a handbook, I guess, by by uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Okay, Kamalud Abdul Hamid uh, from UTM, I think. This is the link. So basically, uh, in the process, uh, he's, by the way, he's using ISIS. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to repeat. I'm going to copy the same process, but using, uh, but using uh, DWSIM uh, software. 
So basically, I have a gas stream containing propane, ethane, uh, and butane, uh, and then isobutane flow rate around 100 mol per hour. They are compressed inside the compressor, okay, to 50 psia, and then cool it down to zero degree Celsius, and then they are sent to a vapor liquid separator. So in this case, uh, the 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 stream three basically containing a uh, gas phase and liquid phase are charged into the separator and you know under equilibrium condition they will separate into vapor phase and liquid phase and these are the mole composition uh, in mole mole fraction i'm sorry mole fraction uh, other information that that are useful is pang robinson equation of state that's what we're going to use uh, we're going to use uh, we're going to assume no pressure drop in the separator and then also no temperature drop in the cooler, no temperature, no temperature drop in the uh, separator. So basically, whatever temperature from S3 uh, is, is basically the same. Okay, temperature, uh, temperature coming from S3 and then vapor phase and liquid phase are the, uh, are the same. Okay, I apologize. I have cats like fighting outside. Um, uh, you know, this is not really like a you know, single uh, apartment where I can have a very, very uh, silent environment. So there's a cat, so I apologize for that. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it about the design problem. So yeah, let's get started then. So as you can see here, this is the uh, the, the home page, okay, uh, and interface of the DW SIM software. It's pretty nice. In here, you have like a like a Patreon page, you have a forum, maybe there's an announcement here, okay. Uh, it, it went to this uh, this uh, this website. There's also YouTube videos, a uh, Patreon page here, you can you can join. Okay, you can, uh, this is the, uh, uh, the, the developer, okay. And then, okay, this is Daniel Medeiros. Uh, you can be a patron uh, and, and, or, or what have you, okay. <laughs> Not gonna go. Not gonna go the details here. But okay. Uh, the first. Okay. Uh, we have. We have this. Uh, I have discussed the, the how the process uh, looks like. Okay. How the process works. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new steady state a simulation uh, file. So I move uh, my cursor here. You can choose new steady state simulation. You can also have uh, create new compound because 150 megabyte. The, maybe the component library is not. Is not. Uh, for, for, for your desired okay component is not available you can create your own compound you can you have a new regression studies you can open the the previous file there's a not there's also a sample file here okay uh, there's a lot of example here a flow sheet recent folders uh, recent file which i have uh, prepared uh, previous uh, just to try out so um so yeah uh, here you have file edit tools you can just go on file here just to save open you know things like that edit setting help here you have a documentation you can open your user guide if you want to you know if you have issues uh walking through the software um uh, you can be a patron you can support documentation about you you, you can you can learn about the software in general by, by pressing f12 not going to go into detail there, but the first thing, uh, but for, for, for my particular uh, process, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new steady state simulation. I click. Okay. Okay, this uh, windows will pop out. Okay. Uh, if you ask me, uh, if, you, if you know your process simulation software, the, 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 the sequence is pretty much the same. First, you select your component, you select after that, you select thermodynamic property methods, you, and, and then uh, complete your flow sheet and then you run your simulation, assuming okay, that all the required, uh, required info is, is provided. Okay, here, uh, just hit next. Uh, in here, you need to select your process uh, component. Uh, here, you can, you can add from another source if you want, uh, you can import. Let's say your component is not available, you can import. So because this is 150 megabyte software, okay, so maybe there are some uh, component that are not available. Uh, the, first th the first component is propane, just type propane. Um, and then here you will see propane and then you click, uh, you, you, you add, meaning to, to add the component. And then you type ethane. Oops. Okay, this will come out. Okay, click. 
and then you find uh, N-butane and isobutane. So I click N-butane and then isobutane. So I have selected four components and that's enough for my simulation. And I, I hit next. Okay, here is the list of uh, uh, thermodynamic property method. So I'm gonna use a panel of Vincent, click and add, and then you can hit next. Uh, here, they, they, you can choose uh, English unit, you know, just a unit, I don't care. Uh, just use SI unit. Let's say you don't like the way the way the unit works, you can just clone. Okay, let's say you like most of the unit, but there are some that you feel that uh, you need to change. So you can change it in here, but you can clone and then modify or you can create new. I'm not, I'm not going to change the unit, so I'm just going to hit a finish. Now, you pretty much... Uh, done setting up the component, uh, the properties and stuff, and the unit and stuff. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do that we need to do is to complete the flow sheet. Uh, to make it bigger, I'm going to close this one, okay, and then I'm going to uh, ex I'm going to maximize the uh, the window. Um, in here, this is where you need to uh, create your own uh, uh, flow sheet. I think they have a lot of you know a lot of uh, unit. Uh, pressure changer, separator, mixer, split exchanger, reactor, column, solid, and things like that. There, there are a lot. So this is in more than enough for, you know, if you are working, uh, if you do like an IDP, integrated design project, or even uh, unit operation or mass and energy balance, or even a plant design project. Okay, the way it works is kind of uh, uh, it is kind of different. Okay, from from my experience, this is kind of different from my experience. Plus, I think they, uh, this. The way the, the stream and uh, energy uh, stream are connected, uh, I, I think they are kind of similar to high sys. Uh, yeah, you will see later. The first thing that I'm going to add is I'm going to going to add compression. Just uh, just co uh, click and then drag and then put here. And then you need to add your material stream, okay, as uh, your inlet, and then you need to put your outlet. Uh, well, because, okay, uh, because the, to, to compress, you require energy, you need to add energy stream, okay? This is kind of like required, I guess, or else you can proceed with the simulation. So you need to add. So you can zoom in, uh, just go, just go to zoom in, okay? Okay, next, you, you see that it's not even connected. So to connect, you, uh, you need to double click this. This window will come out. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this file this a stream into s1 and then i hit enter and become s1 now the connection uh, it should go to the downstream to compressor 001 so you should choose downstream compressor 001 that's not, that's done and then here you have a stream condition okay the temperature here is around uh, 50 fahrenheit so you type 50 and then you choose a Fahrenheit and then they will automatically change okay to a Kelvin because that's the, the SI unit. So you have to be very careful on how you uh, how you uh, input the uh, uh, the temperature, the, the stream information basically. A pressure here, just one ATM. See, uh, let's say you choose you write down one ATM, they will automatically change to uh, one one uh, one uh, one zero one three two five uh, Pascal. It's the same. It's the same. But the way the way unit the unit works. Okay, molar flow is around uh, one hundred uh, pound mole per hour. So, you see, it's also changing. The rest are the same. Uh, and then you go to compound amount. Okay, here you have a mole fraction. So you can change it to propane is a 0 0.2, uh, ethane is 0 0.15, uh, butane is 0 0.05, uh, 0 0.6. Uh, I'm just going to accept all changes. So just in case, object reference is not set. Uh, okay, just 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 continue. Uh, sometimes that thing, that thing pops out. I don't know why, but but this is how it's done actually. Okay, and then your complexity double click. Uh, you can rename your MP, hit enter. Okay, your outlet stream should go to MSTR002. Okay, it will be connected. And then your energy stream should come from 003. Okay. Uh, ESTR here, uh, you can just uh, rename maybe energy E1, for example. 
and then MSTR002, uh, you can re I can rename it to S, uh, maybe S2. Okay, I can close all of these uh, this, this, uh, windows and then I can add more uh, process unit. And then it, it needs to be cooled down. Okay, I don't, uh, I normally use heater uh, instead of cooler. If you want to use cooler, it's up to you. I don't care because you know, if it's if you use heater, the, the energy is just negative uh, or, or positive. Uh, if it's positive, then it's heat added to the heater block. Or if it's negative, then heat uh, re, uh, remove from the heater block. And then this is the same. Anything that really remove or or, or add energy, you need you need to add. You need to have this uh, stream, this this uh, uh, energy stream. Okay, S two it should go. You double click, it should go to this heat 004. And then heat 004, it should go to uh, MSTR 005. Energy stream should be ESTR 006. Uh, heater here, it should be called cooler because it is cooler. Even though it's called heater, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, here it need to be cooled down. Uh, pressure drop is zero, so that's fine. Uh, efficiency is, is fine. Ah, uh, oh, here you need to change. Uh, let's see, outer temperature is zero, zero Celsius. Okay, this one is done. The last thing that I'm gonna add is a vapor liquid, a separator. It should be under separation, separator or tank. Just drag. Uh, okay, here I need to add material stream okay for this one you don't require it it does not really it does not require a, a energy stream because your separator is just a vessel without having anything okay just a vessel a separate liquid and vapor so the 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 pressure and then the the, the temperature okay increase or decrease are provided by your compressor palm or even heater or cooler okay in this case mstr 5 i'll change it to uh, s3 uh, and then it go, downstream should be a separator 007. Uh, and then um, I double click separator 007. And then I can rename as separator SEP. Okay, here your connection inlet is S3. Your outlet for vapor, uh, you can have like six inlet, six inlets, meaning that you can have six stream coming into the separator. Okay, vapor stream should be MSTR008. Uh, light liquid stream uh, is MSTR009. Now it's done. Last thing that, that I'm going to do is just rename this as vapor. And this one as a liquid. Now, in case you are wondering why uh, you have a light liquid, heavy liquid, because you, you, this one can work as a vapor liquid liquid separator. For example, you want to separate gas, uh, water, and then oil, right? So you can have a three stream coming out. Okay, I'm pretty much done uh, setting up my simulation. Uh, uh, let's zoom in a bit. Okay. Uh, right now it's red, right? It's, it's kind of like yellowish or orange so it, it, it haven't been run yet so i can run so just type you can uh, click this or f5 so just click f5 uh, calculator it become blue so you can have you can see all of the information here um so yeah okay in here you can you can really double double click and then get the result i guess you can here uh, like like this but but for for this one it's, it's a bit weird for you or like like how you can can get the information stream or block information here you can see you can move your your cursor to to here you will see that all of the information uh but but if you double click for example you, you can also get the num the, the numbers i think oh no not really um don't have it but but you can pretty much like a uh, move your cursor to get the numbers and then maybe just copy and paste uh, and then just copy it or, or maybe type it uh, in your Excel. Um, let's see what else, what else? So yeah, you have a set, uh, uh, it's, it's done. So you can see that in all of the, the information here, pleasure, efficiencies and, and things like that. And 
and then you see here it's around how much um, oh okay my mistake my compressor I, I should modify my compressor my compressor outlet pressure should be uh, 50 psia i'm sorry no wonder it's kind of weird so it's very important for you to always check your 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 block before you run it make sure make sure to have the information correct Okay, let's say you edit, uh, you can just solve, uh, solve the flow sheet one more time. I think it's done. Let's see. Okay, it's around 3.4. Okay, bar. So it should be good now. And as I said, uh, this is one way for you to see the result. Another way is to just go to this. Let's see. Uh, you can create report. Go to result. You can create report. Here you can uh, choose material stream, energy stream, and you can have a report for your separate because this one separator your compressor and then your heater and then you can export data to file or you can view the report uh, let's say uh, and then you can have option uh, molar composition and things like that and then you can click a view report okay this will be generated uh, as to uh, wait uh, page one out of five uh, uh, Two out of five, three out of five. So this is how how you can get the information. And as I said, you can you can you can uh, export data to file. I think you can save it as uh, Excel. So that's good. So I, which I'm not gonna do that. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it on on how the how to work uh, with this uh, DW Sim software. It's not that it's not really that difficult. Um, I think to 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 check uh to check the result uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna export the result and then i'm gonna compare the result with the high sys uh, simulation result uh, uh, uh written down by the author of the textbook where i get the uh the process so yeah let's go back to our uh, to our slide and and, and then analyze our uh, our result Oh, by the way, before before that, uh, to save, just go to file and then save as. Just save it any way you want. Should be fine. That's number one. To close, I mean, I, I to be honest with you, I don't really have to show you how to close. Just click X. Should be fine. Uh, I'm not gonna use this, so I'm not gonna save any any files. So that's pretty. And then you can uh, close. So if you look at these slides, you will see that uh, the first two columns, okay, here belong to vapor phase and liquid phase calculated of the same process calculated by high -sys. Uh This result, I get it from this uh, textbook by, by this uh, Dr. Kamaruddin. Uh, this one is the one that I extracted from DWC, you know, copying the same process. So if you look look at it, I mean temperature is the same, pressure is the same, mass flow rate. Okay, you will see that vapor phase is 462, 417. Uh, I mean in terms of like molar mole fraction, they are pretty much the same. So I, I think it's quite comparable. Okay, DW same value with the high C values. So that's 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 good. And my my conclusion here is, I mean, uh, DW same works works just fine. Okay, it's, it's as good. Okay, with the with the uh, with the uh, commercial process simulation uh, software, so this would be very beneficial. Okay, to the student who does not have access to uh, to uh, to commercial process simulation, as uh, especially during uh, COVID nineteen pandemics, where you know they cannot go to the to the computer lab and then access uh, access the software. So. Just download the software, and then you you see that you see that uh, it it is it is it is equally good, and and by knowing this, I would believe that you may have added an extra I would say skills. Okay, you don't have to rely on like Aspen Plus. You don't have to be like a expert in one versus simulation software only. This would also be be useful if you want to you know to sort of like uh, diversify. Okay your 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 or make, make your resume uh, a lot more interesting i guess this is also good i think to those companies who who does not have who you know medium scale or small scale company who does not really want to invest too much on 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 you know commercial process simulation software to see the, the performance of their plan and then how to see the mass balances and energy balances of the uh, plan 
um, yeah, considering that the students, most of the students, especially the undergrad students, are, are learning uh, online from home, this would be this software would be a uh, very uh, useful uh, for them to to do to do their chemical engineering uh, works. Okay, that would be all for me. Um, if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to my channels and I will see you again in the next video. Thank you.